What's up, blockheads? Headed to the post office today because I am shipping out this Senna 50R to the uh, level three blockhead channel member that was randomly selected to receive it so that we can collab on an episode. On the way to the post office, I figured I would make an episode that has been highly requested from many of you guys. And that's tips and advice on if you're starting up a YouTube channel, if you're looking to motovlog and stuff like that. So on the way to the post office, gonna be talking about that. If you guys are interested in joining as a channel member, Check out the screenshots, pretty easy process. There's a join button right beside the subscribe button. On that note, if you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. All right, so let's get on the road. I've wanted to try this different transition for a little bit. I need some space to do it though, so let's... I need to move this chair real quick. Hopefully this transition works out like I want it to. You guys, let me know what you think. All right, normally we're here, right? Ready? Uh. Woo! How did it work out? Did it look good? <laughs> Before we get too far into it, you guys be sure to let me know what videos you want to see in relation to this topic. So. Uh, I've gotten a lot of requests for like my editing workflow, what software I use, GoPro settings, other camera gear and stuff like that. So if you guys have any special requests, do me a favor, be sure to comment and uh, let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, tips for YouTube. If you've started a channel and you're trying to grow or if you're looking to start a channel or if you have interest in making videos and stuff like that, I'm basically just going to tell you guys my thoughts and my opinions on what makes a successful uh, YouTube channel. Now I'm coming up on like 300,000 subscribers. A lot of you guys have asked me for advice. 300,000 subscribers is quite a bit of people. I mean, that's a lot of people, but in the in the grand scheme of YouTube, 300,000 isn't that much. I mean, there's channels out there with like millions and millions of subscribers. But I think you should be able to take these tips and uh, advice and kind of apply it towards whatever niche that you're looking to get into and having a niche is definitely part of the process. First piece of advice that I have, if you're looking to start a YouTube channel or you're looking to start motor vlogging or you have a channel already and you're looking to kind of get it going, the first thing is that whatever it is that you're making content on, you have to have a passion for it. You have to have enthusiasm for it. That's the the first and biggest piece of advice that I always give people. My niche is motorcycles, you know, I and you guys can tell as per my videos and from what you guys have told me, you all can feel through the videos that I enjoy motorcycles, right? So that's not, it's not faked. And that's gonna come through as well. And that's another, another tip and point that I'm gonna come across. But yeah, step number one is whatever it is that you're making content on, you have to actually have an interest in and you have to be passionate about it because with YouTube especially if you're looking to to grow a channel nobody's gonna make you put in the work and put in the time and effort and energy that it takes to to kind of develop and grow a channel the driving force behind all the rest of that is having enthusiasm and having a passion for what you're doing that could be with motorcycles it could be with tech lots of tech channels out there and you know, I follow a select few, but the ones that I do follow, you can tell by the way they talk about whatever subject it is that they're talking about, that they really enjoy what they're doing. And you can pick up on that. Which brings me to my second point, and that is don't be fake. There's a lot of channels out there that I feel like it's kind of like an act whenever they get on camera. I've met people in person that who they are on camera and on their channel is not who they are in person. And to me, that's like just a huge turn off because you should, you should be real one with your community. I've watched some channels where they've got just a, like this really super high energy level and they always speak positive and everything ends with like an upward inflection. <laughs> it's like to me, oh man, it stresses me out just talking like that just now. I've watched episodes like that and I'm like, all right, yeah, like I really like the energy, but like that's how that person is. You know, you can tell like that's, they've, they're just enthusiastic and energetic versus me like I'm a little more laid back I know a lot of you guys out there appreciate that because you always talk about how I keep it real on the channel and that's it's totally how it is I'm the same person if you meet me in person versus the person that you see in videos so 
be real don't put on an act i watched this one channel one time whenever i was just starting and one of the things that they had said was and i totally disagree with this but they basically said all right guys if you're looking to start a channel you're looking to start moto vlogging all you need to do is find a personality trait you know something that's within your personality and amplify that times 10. no i cannot recommend against that enough just be yourself because in my opinion and this is this is one of the biggest reasons that i subscribe to channels and i i follow channels despite whatever content they're creating is the person's personality so i'll follow channels where they basically like there's something that gets me to that channel you know some search term that you know gets me to that channel so uh an example max powell uh is somebody that i'm subscribed to now what got me to his channel was Tacoma content, you know, Toyota Tacoma, because he had some video that like I did a search term for, I came across his Tacoma and a video that he made on it, and I really enjoyed his video style, and I enjoyed his personality, so I hit the subscribe button. Now, over time, his content has changed. He ended up getting a new truck, so he's doing a lot of content on a Ford Raptor. He's still doing Tacoma content, but he also does a lot of other things. He was doing falconry there for a little bit, and then he was talking about his house and working and all these other things. Bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go buy you. Nice rims, bro. <laughs> But yes, what got me there was content on the Tacoma. Ooh, that's a nice red Tacoma. But what kept me there and what kept me watching all the other videos was his personality. So don't be fake, let your personality do the work. That's not gonna work for everybody. I mean, I guess if you don't have the best personality, but uh, I feel like if you're on YouTube, I'm, you're, you've probably got a personality that where you've considered you know, making videos and putting them out there for the world to see. So have a passion for what you're doing don't be fake let your personality do the work so third tip is to choose your niche most channels if it's not like a lifestyle vlog but even a lifestyle vlog is a niche of lifestyle but most channels have a niche most businesses have a niche and so that's kind of the way that YouTube works as well so my niche is motorcycles I've kind of started to do some other motorsports stuff looking into like classic cars because I feel like you know they they go together american motorcycles and american muscle but at the core of my channel my niche is motorcycles i do gear reviews i do test rides i do group rides i do motorcycle tips and riding tips and how to ride stuff and just the base platform of my channel is motorcycles so you need to choose a niche and then kind of put your own twist on that niche Putting your own twist on something, that's where your personality comes in. You can have other channels and stuff that you like look up to if you like their editing style or if you know you like their quality and all that stuff. And kind of do do like they do, I guess. But at the end of the day, like you need to have your own, you know, style. Oh, I know this isn't a parking space, but it's kind of like a little baby parking space. Perfect for motor kegels. Check it out, in addition to the 50R, I'm also sending a hat, a center bag, and a bunch of stickers. All right, done in the post office. Kinda wish I recorded that whole transaction. <laughs> Kinda seemed like that guy did not like his job. All right, what part were we on? I think I was talking about having like your own style, which I think, yeah, kind of uh, segues from, you know, letting your, your personality shine through like the style of my vlogs, the editing style and the personality comes through the editing, you know? Yeah, definitely kind of like try to develop your own style. So the next tip, and this is a pretty important one, once you get those bases covered and you're starting to make videos and stuff and upload them to YouTube, but big, huge piece of advice is consistency. So make sure you're being consistent. You YouTube loves consistency so if you're doing one video a week stay on one video a week and choose a day to upload it so that one YouTube gets used to that upload schedule of yours and uh, your subscribers also get used to that upload schedule so if you want to do an upload every Monday do an upload every Monday so for me I do usually Monday Wednesday Fridays if I'm doing three videos a week or I'll do Monday Thursday if I'm doing two videos a week I'm kind of experimenting around with that right now but for the most part subscribers know usually to expect my videos either really late at night or early in the morning usually I do like 3 a.m. uploads why did I choose that time? Eh, just because, you know, I got my reasons, but it seems to work out and people have gotten used to it. All right, we're doing another cut. I'm going to order a sandwich and I'll be right back. We're back. This kid inside at the sandwich shop, new of the channel, 
So I'm gonna give him some stickers. He said his friend got him turned onto the channel. So give him some stickers and some extra for his friend. Appreciate the support, guys. Thank you. Cuban. Mm, drink, I'll put it in another pouch. That's super cool that he knew about the channel. Thanks for uh, the Cuban, sir. Appreciate it. So we're talking about consistency, right? YouTube loves consistency. Get on a schedule that is good for you. If you don't have like a ton of time, you can do once a week. YouTube loves <laughs> like the more often you upload. So like I said, my, my schedule, it's just what's kind of worked out for me, what I've found to work for me. Just find what works best for you and your audience. But YouTube will recommend your videos more if you have consistency in your uploads. So highly recommend that. What is that, like four tips so far? So next step would be to focus on the quality of the content that you're making. So if you've got great personality, you've got consistent uploads, you've got a passion for what you're doing, but your quality sucks, meaning you've got bad video, it's not clear, it's all smudgy, your lenses are always dirty or whatever, your frame rates are choppy, and you've got like bad audio, stuff like that. If your videos aren't being delivered well and they don't look good, people aren't going to want to watch to them focus on quality nowadays i mean it's impossible not to have a camera that's good enough to do vlogging for me because of the application because of my niche i use a gopro mounted on a motorcycle helmet and i've basically gone through and found the settings that work the best for me that i'm satisfied with 1080p their youtube videos i'm not going any bigger just because it's their youtube videos in the future i'll probably go up to 4k but for now most of my stuff is 1080p 60 frames per second and i choose that because it usually looks clear crisp the youtube servers do sometimes add some artifacting like to the road like if you guys are seeing like kind of pixelation and stuff that's because of the youtube compression like through their servers that kind of sucks but like i know the quality of it is good in terms of like whatever else you guys are seeing and the audio is good there's been episodes that i've recorded where like the audio won't be that good like it'll be like something will happen with my mic and uh, i've gone through you know just lots of testing and mic placement inside of my helmet to where I've, I've dialed it in to where my mic sounds good the vocal clarity sounds good but you can still hear the bike you know whenever i get on it because people like to hear the bike but yeah focus on delivering a quality product if you're to start a business you don't want to like sell something that people aren't going to like right so think of it like that if you're if you're doing this and you're starting this business what you're putting out into the world is your videos. So make sure that those are up to par. Make sure that they're quality. Take other people that you're watching, other people that you might be subscribed to, and look at the quality of their videos and try to like aim for that level of quality. Because if you don't have quality videos, you could have the best subject matter and the most interesting stuff to watch. And if it's not pleasant to watch, like I can't hear you and you can't really see what's going on, like people aren't gonna watch. That's one of the reasons that I started a YouTube channel is because I would watch how-to videos on people doing modifications to motorcycles, but their camera angles sucked or I couldn't hear them or it would be blurry or they would be working here and then they would turn the camera this way as they did something important. And it was kind of like, okay, well that sucks. I can do better than that. I'm gonna make videos that I would wanna see. And so that's what I started doing is I started making videos, doing moto vlogging and how-to videos and test rides and stuff like that based on what I would want to see. And I guess that seems to resonate with you guys because you hit subscribe and you hit the like button and you comment and you show support. So greatly appreciate it. And I guess you could take that focusing on quality and like kind of put it towards your whole your whole channel. Like so as, as a brand, you know, first and foremost, you need to have good videos, but then you can also focus on, you know, having like a really good presentation in terms of like a logo, pictures that you post up on like say Instagram, you've got YouTube at the center of it. And then you kind of are focusing on all your other supporting social networks like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc, etc. So you want to have like a quality representation of your brand on those other social networks as well. I think those are some of the biggest ones. Like those are the absolute key pieces, the fundamentals of having a good YouTube channel. If you've got those things covered, you're delivering quality content, you've got a niche, you're enthusiastic about it, like people are going to naturally start coming to uh, subscribe to your channel. On YouTube, we all start at the same place. I started with zero subscribers, absolutely none. And the reason I started uploading content is because I really enjoy motorcycles. The amount of people that have told me that they've watched the videos and they appreciate you know, the enthusiasm that I have for them, 
and uh, sharing my knowledge on YouTube with them is awesome. Like seeing the impact that, you know, your videos can have on a community is really super rewarding. It all stems back to number one, have a passion for what you're doing and build upon that. Choose something that you love. What is that saying? Do what you love and you'll never work another day in your life. That needs to be the mindset of where you start your YouTube journey. If you guys wanna see more information on this, more tips and all that, comment down below, let me know. I know you guys have uh, asked for other videos like showing you my editing workflow, asking what like software I use, my GoPro settings and all that. Yeah, just comment down below, let me know what you guys wanna see. Anyways guys, I hope that's been insightful. If this video was helpful, be sure to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button as well. Hit that bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. And until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.